Well, welcome to the first pro tips with it never was. I'm today. I'm going to show you how to slow the play down because while well, I was a dog shit hockey player and never fucking went anywhere, so uh, maybe these tips will help you slow the play down to where you like it the best. Whether you're playing beer leagues, pickup hockey, you know, noon shinny, or fuck, I don't know, midget triple A for Christ's sakes, this will work anywhere, even down at the old local uh, outdoor rink. All right, first things first. You're probably going to want to head over to www.furtahockeyapparel.com use the checkout code bardownski get a little discount code going you know everybody loves a deal second thing you're probably going to want to weasel down to your local fucking sport check canadian tire fuck walmart grandpa's garage oh dad's tool shed they'll probably be one of these sluts hanging around good old trusty wood stick you're going to need that for sure now once you have that old girl, you know, once you get down to the local rink, you and the boys are sitting around having to chew you, the fucking first thing you're going to want to do is go fire up the shower. Or hell, if you're sitting at home, you know, pre-game, sometimes you got to jerk off or something like that. I don't know what you do for a pre-game ritual, but that's one of the things I like to add in. So we're going to want to fire up the shower. Yeah, fire up that old girl. Step two, take this little ingredient. There we go. Probably going to want to leave her for about a half an hour or so. Ooh, is that old girl nice and waterlogged? Oh, and she's not going to break when you lay some lumber to some douchebag that thinks he's going to blow you wide on the fucking center line. Oh, the only thing you're probably going to be taking home is his girlfriend and his fucking ankle because that pussy is not going to be walking after you lay some lumber into that dipshit's ankles. Now that uh, you, the game's over and you pretty well slashed every fucking ankle in sight, the only two things you're going to be leaving with is your pride and probably that faggot's fucking girlfriend. We're going to leave on a high note, though, with one of the greatest slashes in Canadian history. This man is an absolute legend. You know him, old Bobby Clark. <laughs> number 16 in your programs, but number one in your hearts after this fucking slash on some commie bastard. Stay furty, you bitches. Harlemov passes back. Here's a roller in front, a shot, knocked down by Bergman, who fell in front of it. And there's going to be a penalty, I believe, on this one. Here's a mix-up. And the... Uh